the creators. But have you never had a dream, said Ella, that was so real you were sure that it was? But it's more than that. Not only does it feel so real, it feels right, and more than anything, you want it to be real. Drayton listened as his sister went on about dreams and the nature of reality. It wasn't the first time she had done so, and he sought to remind her once again of the truth of all things. We are not real, Ella. We are merely characters in a story. If we are allowed to dream, then what is to stop our dreams from dreaming? And then their dreams from dreaming? Where would it end? Or indeed, where does it begin? If such dreams were allowed to happen, then how would the creators know that they are real, and not, in fact, a part of someone else's dreams? This is why dreaming is banned here in the land of fantasy. To hell with the creators, stormed Ella. She had had enough of her thoughts being controlled by these so-called creators, whose fantasized existence lay a shadow over the world. Drayton gave a loud gasp at these blasphemous words. He knew his sister was going through a difficult time, but insulting the creators was a serious crime that could result in being expelled from the land. Ella seemed to ignore him and continued her tirade. Who are the creators to tell us how to live our lives, who to love, or whether or not we can dream? How do we even know they are real? There is no proof except for what the elders tell us, and their only claim to knowledge comes from being told so by elders before them. That is not proof. This was too much for Drayton. Insulting the creators was one thing, but claiming they didn't exist was beyond excuse. Quiet, Ella! Do not speak of the creators in such a way! roared Drayton. Normally, Ella would have been taken aback by her brother's sudden outroar, but instead, this time, she decided to rise to the challenge. Or what, Drayton? What could possibly happen? You think the creators will just stop reading our story, and then we will suddenly cease to exist? Yes, creators damn you! That is exactly what I think will happen. If our world is not read, or thought of, or dreamed about by the creators, then we and all of it will cease to exist. What nonsense, replied Ella. Am I supposed to believe that if we are not in the creators' thoughts, then we will not Paul got bored of the story. He'd picked up the land of fantasy for some light reading before class. He didn't want to read some dull tirade about the nature of reality or of gods. He wanted something simple with dragons and knights in it. He decided to give this story a skip and flip the page to one he hoped would be more exciting.